another episode on Agnes Isikala blog YouTube channel. I'm so happy to be here again to share with you, my friends. Uh, if this is your first time here, you're welcome to Agnes Isikala's YouTube channel. I'm so glad you can make her time out of your very tight schedule to watch my video. And if you've not subscribed, please subscribe and don't forget to like my videos if you've not seen my video on appreciating the moment please make our time to see that my and the rest of my video too thank you today i'll be talking to us on choosing to be happy in difficult moments we all know that um the world a lot of things are really not going the way we want it a lot of times we face difficulties in one way or the other and sometimes um we can easily we can deal with some of the difficulties and trials we face and some of the times it's just really tough to deal with those um tough moments and if there's something synonymous to facing a difficult situation it's just happiness it's uh, sorry it's sadness we're just sad sometimes we drag our feet and some other times we are lost you know it's it's all these are natural reactions because we are human honestly we are human so the, that's the first reaction most people give to it and then after giving all those reactions um to uh temptations our trials the challenges what else do we do different people choose different ways to handle it going forward after the first in the initial reaction which could be anything it could be crying it could be yelling it could be just trying to see how we fix, we fix things after that initial reaction a lot of people some people will sit, would still keep dwelling on it, not thinking of, okay, what should I do? They ju they're just still sad, they're still just shocked, depending on the gravity of the trial, the difficulty, and the situation. You know, sometimes, especially when it's betrayal, that's, that's like really huge too. But in the midst of all of this, I've, I, I keep asking people, well, how do you deal with all of this? I've asked this question and a lot of times people, some people will tell you, okay, I just kind of like, most times I'm just sad. Eventually the situation takes care of himself, then I come out happy. I've faced a lot of difficult situations in my life, enough really, to, to, to know that most times too, I've been really down, unhappy, not even knowing what to do next, you know. Recently, um, I faced a situation what which I thought was really really huge and uh, I was so sad. I was really sad and I was struggling. I, I, I went for a health checkup and uh, my annual checkup and a doctor said um some, something was going on and it was huge. So I was impacted so much and i uh, one of my friends that i shared it with said oh no 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 why not get a second opinion and so to get another a second opinion took some time eventually i went for a second opinion after months and uh, the doctor then said oh no no it's not a big deal really um whatever the analysis i, I wasn't so it, it wasn't so accurate but this other one they did was more accurate and said oh it's something that will get away after a little while so you don't really need to worry about it and at, that, at that point i sat down i looked at myself i said this same thing has been a cause of worry you know i i remember when the first time i got in this i remember how much i cried i was so worried and everything so now those period i was sad i didn't even Fortunately for me, I had a good friend around who could say, okay, go for a second opinion. In our own life situations too, some, sometimes we we'll face different situations and in most most times when we face difficult situations, we're usually very sad. And being sad doesn't give us clarity to make decisions. So now, I've, I meditated and I told myself, I, I, I told myself, what would have happened? if i chose to be happy and try to look clearly at things so when i had another big um issue that did hit me because i'm human also at that point i was down afterwards i told myself okay this is you've got to dust yourself up and 
ask yourself what's next i did that and i consciously made effort to be happy and after afterwards i because i chose happiness it wasn't because the situation was making me happy but i noticed i was able to deal with the situation in a better way and i was able to come out better so um my friends some of my uh, some of my friends that knew about this situation also were like how did you do it how did you just manage this and make it look as if it wasn't a big deal i said oh, i just chose to be happy then i made conscious effort my situation wasn't perfect yes but i told myself that i have to be happy so that i can have clarity on how to handle this very well and also to make sure that this situation this difficult situation will not bring more difficult situations so in life also have you just um looking at your own life just meditating over some of the situations you've had to face in life have you ever had any situation that you have one difficult moment and maybe you started thinking and then you had this big health situation come up or maybe you're thinking so much about it and then this impacted your work or impacted your friendship with people and at the end of the day the situation got better but did your friends or that situation the other situation that it impacted get better so that's why it's really important that when we are facing difficult situation we have to consciously consciously choose happiness you know why we have to choose happiness we have to choose happiness because no one will make you happy except you and happiness is free you have to make that choice and that's when you'll be happy and your happiness you know and and if there's one one reason why i t told myself i have to always choose happiness and be happy it's because i mentally detached my happiness on either friends money material things i i, I made it i choose to not even on people if someone always makes you happy when the person is not there then you're going to be sad or what because we have to be complete you have you have to be complete to give someone else happiness that happiness should be within you so can you give what you don't have if yes if, if you look up to someone else to give you happiness but you don't have happiness in you how is that gonna work so i chose happiness because i realized that that's what we most times we pull our fat going kind of like um base our happiness on a lot of factors we shouldn't be and at the end of the day when those things don't go well or when anything go bad then we are sad for the longest time so try something please when you are in a situation very difficult one though it's painful you're sad and everything but choose to mentally give yourself peace and give yourself some happiness within and see if you're able to handle that situation better than when you're just so sad so if that trick works for you then you can always apply it to other situations as well all right thanks dear friends i'm gonna be talking to you on my next video on how to you've chosen happiness now so how to be how to be happy in difficult situations please watch out for that video thank you so much from agnes Scar's blog please don't forget to like and share my video and if you've not subscribed please subscribe and don't forget to click that notification button so that when i make my next video you'll be the first to get the notification thank you friends i appreciate your time thank you thank you we love you from agnesis god blood bye for now